Hi, this is John Hill here, and this is about prime numbers and a new way to calculate them. So in the last video, I used an Excel sheet to calculate prime numbers. I went up to 149, um, and all the numbers I got were primes. But I came across a number, which is 2047, uh, which is a mercy number, but it is not a prime. So I had to use another software uh, to calculate the numbers, the prime numbers. Uh, I used Visual Basic. It's easier. So here's the code I used. The code will generate not only prime numbers, but also pseudo prime numbers. These numbers, um, I try to uh, get rid of them, uh, but the, the numbers get so large uh, that the, the functions uh, don't work uh, well. Uh, so I will include the pseudo prime numbers um, in the code. Uh, we can eliminate them, but there are some restrictions to the size of the numbers. Um, I will explain later how to get rid of them. The numbers are primarily primes. There are some pseudo primes, for example, 341, 1105, 2047, 8321, 8911. I must admit that I did some research on how to get rid of the pseudo prime numbers. So the formula I used is 3 to the power of the, the number we are checking, minus 1, and minus 1, and all of this divided by uh, the number we are checking. If the number has decimal places, um, it means that um, the number uh, is not, um, is not um, a prime number. If the number has no decimal places, it means it is a prime number. One must be aware of the fact that the, the numbers which are not primes, the pseudo prime numbers, um, are primes relative to, to base 2. So in this case, we must use base 3. Um, with this, we can be sure that they are not primes. If you want to check more about this, I suggest you to check out my, my latest videos. Uh, they are also about prime numbers, uh, but this video I think is very important. Um, and I think this is um, an important step uh, towards uh, understanding uh, the prime numbers uh, in a new way. So thanks for checking out my stuff. See you.